Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well with your families. Um, today I just want to discuss very briefly uh, the importance of good skin care. And I'm sure most of us have heard the saying that, um, or have heard somebody say that the skin is the largest organ of the human body, which is um, the truth. Um, and I particularly like the saying that says that look after your skin for it will represent you for um, a long time. So we have to love the skin we are in. Um, when somebody meets us for the first time, what do they see? They, they look into your face and you can tell the quality of a person's skin. And people assess you, even um, your age, um, looking at your skin. Um, and a glowing skin or a skin that stands out is, 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 you can't compare it to anything else because it speaks for itself. Actually, that's what the word I want to use. It, a good skin or somebody who invests in looking after their skin um you 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 can tell when you meet them why do i say that because of the quality of their skin and the good quality skin a beautiful skin it, it stands out wherever you go so you would find that the skin as we call it people would say oh my goodness ham your skin is glowing um or you've got such smooth skin or, or um, you know, sometimes they ask us what products we're using. Um, and I believe that good skin care starts with knowing your skin. So if you have followed my work for some time um, up to this point, um, you probably um, have an idea. Um, and in also in my ebook, I do talk about, you know, what to look out for um, in your skin because our skin is individual to us. So what somebody else will do for their skin um, to glow or to look healthy is, is completely different from what another person would do because our skin is unique to ourselves and we've all got different characteristics so you you hear people say oh i've got dry skin i've got oily skin i've got combination skin so all these are, are individual traits um, and everybody's skin is different so it's important that you know your skin type yeah and when you know your skin type then you know how to treat it um and also skin concerns. So you know your skin type and skin concerns, then you know how to treat it. And when I say how to treat it is with what products? Um, because the products that you use is very important in, you know, treating your skin, which is peculiar to you. And um, my ebook takes one through what to look out for i wouldn't discuss it in detail here but if you have seen my ebook then you will have a good idea of what i'm talking about if you haven't um yet seen my ebook then it, it it's a must that you do because it it actually takes you through the steps from step one to you know um the end on what to look out for um, being able to know your skin type, um, what are your skin concerns, how to identify them. Because sometimes we, we, we just vaguely say, oh, my skin is giving me problem. My skin is um, dry. My skin feels like it has rashes. It has bumps. Um, it has blackheads. But we, we just say it vaguely. But we don't actually understand the causes or how to treat it. So... It's important that we know our skin type and then we can identify some of the concerns. And the ebook, you know, has um, a step by step guide on how to even, you know, look out and assess one's skin. So you don't always have to get 
an esthetician or a skincare expert to tell you what is happening with your skin. You can actually assess your own skin. So um, if you want to be able to assess your skin, which I know a lot of us do, I actually I wanted to know, um, you know, what was going on with my skin at some point. So um, it's it's important that you have a look at the ebook and it will tell you um take you through so yes so going back to 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 the importance of a good skincare routine is is if you don't know your skin type you don't know what to look out for you will definitely not know how to treat it so once you are able to do that then you're on the road to recovering or or you know having beautiful skin because then you know exactly what the problem is and how to treat it and which products to use because um, the products we use is very important and the routines, you know, um, and um, the skin, all of us, our skin sheds um, dead skin regularly. Um, it has time frames according to your age or depending on your age or skin type. However, as we grow older, this shedding process um, sometimes takes a bit longer and therefore this is when we see you know very dull looking skin because the skin is not shedding as regularly as it used to when we were younger therefore um, at some point in our lives we need to give it that um, support or assistance and that is what we call exfoliation so um, exfoliation is, is, is a, a good step in our skincare routine to do not overdo it because if you are exfoliating every day then you're going to have problems you are going to ruin your skin as well so you have to know how your skin type is and that would tell you how often you need to exfoliate but as we grow older we need to give the skin a little bit of assistance in actually um, shedding of the dead skin cells and when we do that what is the benefits it actually helps the products that you've identified for your skin concerns it helps it to you know uh, penetrate into the layers of the skin so um, you can get a beautiful glow uh, exfoliation really brings the glow out of your skin so it's it's very important so the skin is is one that needs attention and time so if you are the busy type and i've heard people say oh i don't have time some people say i don't always wash my face at night these are the vital things that we may take for granted but has a long-term effect on how our skin actually looks you cannot go to bed without washing your face and washing it properly in circular motions washing it once or twice um you don't have to have makeup on to cleanse your skin well um, in the night and not only in the night but in the morning as well some people would say oh um you know in the morning i've just woken up why do i need to clean my skin but what we don't realize is that at night the skin is at rest um, but you do sweat, the oil glands are still working, so you still would wake up and you've put some creams on, so you've woken up with some residues of sweat and grime, sometimes even from pillowcases that haven't been washed, so you need to give um, your face a wash, a gentle wash in the morning, um, as well as in the night before bed, and you do not only wash your face at night because you did not use any makeup because I've heard people say oh I haven't put on any makeup why do I wash at night how about environmental pollution how about sweat how about debt in the atmosphere you know so it is very important um, to cleanse and I can't you know um, emphasize more than 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 this that a good cleansing routine is the beginning of good good skin care and this is an everyday thing so you've got to make time for your skin to achieve the beautiful glowing skin it takes commitment it takes some work it doesn't just happen and it doesn't happen overnight it is a, a a constant you know daily thing and i promise you it will it will yield you the results that you're looking for 
um, combined with knowing your skin and using the right products, um, you know, you, 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 your skin will look beautiful. So um, I will end here and it's just briefly, like I said, just to, you know, um, go through some of the steps and the reasons why it is important that we look after our skin, which you know introduces us wherever we go and um you know keeping it supple getting having that dewy look and looking as young as we can for as long as is possible so i hope this has been of great benefit to you i hope you've learned something and i have skincare consultations you can always check my website and i am more than happy to assist you with any skincare questions or concerns that you have and also visit my blog on my website i have a blog um, and i have a few articles there all relating to skincare so you can check it out um, so i i will look forward to uh, jumping on again for us to learn um, something new about skincare you take care and thank you for listening Bye bye